Hey everybody, welcome to the Hamakua Homestead. My name is Tiffany and here on this channel, I'm taking you along for all of the adventures here on the ranch. I have been busy canning all day and it's getting close to dinner time. So I thought that I would bring you guys along and show you how to use our venison pot pie filling. We canned this together a few months ago and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I use it when we take it out of the jar. This is what our venison pot pie looks like after it's been sitting on the shelf since February. It's August. So we have our venison, onions, celery, carrots, and all kinds of yummy spices. So let's get started. I have my crust laid out. It is defrosted. Of course, you know, this is an easy, simple meal. So I am definitely using a store-bought crust. It is ready to go. I took it out earlier. So now I'm just going to start with roughly two tablespoons of butter and melt it down a little bit. I I just realized that I don't have two tablespoons of flour, so we're just going to use what we have. I also don't have cornstarch at the moment, so we're just going like that. And we're just going to go ahead and make a quick, simple roux. This one's going to be on the thinner side because I am lacking flour. That's okay. Add a little bit of our juice from our pot pie filling. In an ideal situation, you would have um, two tablespoons of flour so that you can go ahead and mix the rest of the broth into it to make a lot of gravy. So we're just gonna be lacking a little bit of the gravy this time. Eh. Okay, so I have our small amount of gravy made and I have our crust preheating in the oven. It's gonna to toast a little bit on the bottom and then we'll just throw in our mixture and be all set. Crust is warmed up and we're gonna go ahead and fill it. Take out my bay leaf, don't need that. Spread that all around nice. We'll go ahead and put our gravy in. Oh, that's plenty gravy. Yay, that's awesome. That's gorgeous. Yay. So, and now just because I'm feeling a little bit artistic today, we're going to make a top crust. That'll do for now. I'm gonna take the ends and pieces and go ahead and freeze this so I can make another project out of it. It's a pretty decent amount of dough. Last thing. Last thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put an egg wash on top. All right, into the oven we go. Here is our 
venison pot pie. The gravy is bubbling in there. We were not lacking on the gravy whatsoever. All right, there we have it. Our venison pot pie is complete and ready to consume. I will leave it set a few minutes so that it can just congeal and do what it does and make awesomeness. So I just wanted to bring you guys along and show you what we can do with our pre-canned meals. So thank you for joining me today here on the Hamakua Homestead. I will see you again very soon.